Worldwide News at 6 starts right now. It's still Thanksgiving, but the clock is ticking for shoppers who just can't wait for Black Friday. Here's a live look from San Luis Obispo tonight. You can see the tents of people ready to buy. For many families, now is just about the time to sit down at the dinner table and enjoy what they've been working on all day long. But for others, the action is just getting started. We're talking about Black Friday, which has turned into Black Thursday this year as more stores open earlier. Best Buy is one of those stores, and that's where we find Nancy Chen in San Luis Obispo tonight. Nancy, uh, how does the crowd, how, what is the crowd looking like right now? Well, John, if you look behind me, there are so many tents here, it almost looks like Occupy Slow. There are people lined up all the way down to Sears. Best Buy is opening at six in six hours at midnight, and shoppers have been waiting since yesterday afternoon to get a good deal. Some people call them intense, while they say they're simply frugal. Ten years of trying to do it and coming and showing up earlier and earlier, and finally I get to be number one. The first in line at Best Buy for Black Friday. No small feat. I showed up at 3 p.m. yesterday. That was uh, 3 p.m. Wednesday. For victory 10 years in the making, Sean Kulala's is rather anticlimactic at the moment. But come midnight, it's game time. I'm going to be buying two different laptops, two different TVs. I'm going to be buying a notebook. I'm going to be buying an Xbox and a PlayStation and then a couple other items. Kulala is what you call a professional. The veteran shopper is charging coworkers, friends and family about 10% or up to $20 per item to buy something for them. His commission this year, about $180. And he gets some bonuses. Last year, uh, I had a bunch of friends and coworkers commit to bringing me food and I actually had five Thanksgiving dinners. Kulala even has dumbbells for exercise to keep him warm. And he wasn't the only one prepared for a long journey. This is probably one of the more impressive. The owners fit a full size mattress in here. So while other people are sleeping on the cement ground, they're sleeping on a nice soft bed. Los Osos couple Blake Barth and Brigitte Hawk were second in line, arriving minutes after Kulala. We're not here for like a lot. We're getting just maybe, what, 15 items total which is like two TVs, two TV players, a tablet, some DVDs. The two are staving off boredom with laptops and Wi-Fi through a phone, using his iPad to plan ahead. They have a little map on the door that I took a picture of, of kind of like the general ideas and a little route you could take, and I drew it out on my iPad to kind of map it out. We have a list going. Many shoppers in line here talk about a sense of community, one that's not very open to outsiders. I know some gentleman is saying, hey, I took pictures of 25 people who are in front of me. If you're not on this list, I'm telling someone. Only a few more hours to go now. These shoppers have dealt with the cold, boredom, and even people driving by just to jeer. Who does that? Like, we're not affecting you. We're just blocking a little bit of a sidewalk, but you can walk around. But at midnight, it'll hopefully all be worth it. And for some of the really popular items, even if you came out here right now, you'd still be coming too late. The most popular item here seems to be a 42 inch LCD TV that normally goes for $550. Tonight, it's going on sale for $200 and a lot of people are really hoping they can snag it. Live in San Luis Obispo, Nancy Chin, KSBY News. All right, Nancy, oh boy, good luck to all those people. Long lists they have, it seems. Toys R Us is opening even earlier tonight at nine. Walmart is opening its doors at 10 o'clock. Hundreds of people in Santa Maria spent their Thanksgiving enjoying a special meal donated by people in the community. Photo